Dear students, welcome back to Full Scholarships live video series. We'll be discussing about Japan scholarships at Kochi University of Technology. This scholarship is for masters and PhD students. Right now it's open for PhD and it is uh, opening for masters in few days. We'll show the full process for this deadline is 10th of April 2026. We'll show the full process for this before that. Let me remind to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel Full Scholarships and do follow us on instagram page as well the link for this fully funded international scholarship uh, at kochi university of technology is given in the video description below you can check out any of the videos links are in the respective descriptions and in the about section of the youtube you can also see links are also given there and in instagram bio links are also there or instagram story or you can directly message our team on instagram they will send you the link there and once you visit our website fullscholarships.net you can check out all the information regarding this particular scholarship so here are some brief details uh, host country is japan university is coach university of technology degree level is doctoral uh, postgraduate financial benefits uh, full tuition fee waiver plus uh, 15 150 000 yen of monthly salary then the travel allowance will be also given deadline is 10th of april 2026 so uh, the comprehensive benefits about this special scholarship program tuition and fees waiver of around uh, will be given which will be having uh, 30,000 yen and uh, 30,300,000 yen enrollment fee and tuition fee of 535,000 yen monthly stipend for living expenses will be given under the 150,000 yen per month and uh, travel insurance cost will be covered of 150,000 yen and uh, it will be on upon arrival so <coughs> eligibility requirements su supervisor permission will show the list of supervisors you have to email them and then pre-submission of application form we have to fill and then list of required documents once you are accepted for the final round so there is pre-application right now open so you have to fill pre-application interest and if you have supervisor acceptance for both supervisors you need to choose only one once there is final submission and submit pre-submission of application then choose from the list of supervisors fill in that and submit it once you get final acceptance you will have to submit only one application form required documents are listed here application form online original bachelor's master's degree academic transcripts in english and the <coughs> Original master's degree certificate in English, copy of master's thesis, detailed research outline or research proposal, two signed recommendation letters, valid certificate and English proficiency, a copy of your passport, copy of any publications, if you have published any papers, any patents or anything, then permission of, uh, proof of permission of an email of communication showing that clearly you have had permission from the supervisor to uh, be enrolled in their projects or be accepted for supervision under them. How do you apply? Choose the list of the uh, from the list of the SSP project research projects. We have shown you that here. I'll show the link. So once you click on this link, all the details will be mentioned here. So you can see pre-application for SSP program. So here you can see uh, supervisor list is given here. So click on this to have the supervisor list. Here you can see supervisor list with the topics required, skills, research field past doctoral students everything will be there then pre-application form is here so click on this link here you can see this is the pre-application form <coughs> for the ssp scholarship after that if you scroll down you can see the uh, list of required ssp application documents given here so click on this link once you click on that you can see the required documents for formal application these are not required right now these are required when you are accepted from the pre-application so this is only required when you are finally submitting the application in the round two first of all we need to check super as a list choose your field and decide which one you want to apply then let's start the application form here for the pre-submission so where did you when do you wish to start the program so we'll be going for 2027 or 2026 then you have to submit a photograph here then your marshal stats have you ever applied to this and then name the nationality you have to mention that then date of birth you have to choose uh, from the list here so be clear about this May do not make any mistakes then month and date then age you can see it will be automatically calculating 
present occupation so you can mention student if you are in student life if you have like uh if you are in the job you can mention that and then name of the employment or present school you have then email address that you have so you have to mention that after that any additional email address you wish to submit present mailing address postal code you have to mention then country you have to mention which country you are from your phone number and then from the super as a list you have to choose one so you have to select the here so you can see different different are there then educational background your elementary school school name you have to mention city and country you have to mention then dates you have to mention you started and to have maximum when did you complete that and you have to mention that then length of school years you can see it's mentioned here then lower secondary school name and city where you have completed your lower education then uh, the dates of that and you have to mention that after that upper secondary you have to mention that as well so one by one you should mention then undergraduate degree you have completed mention that and then the time of the entrance you entered in the school so you have to mention there to a maximum number and a degree you have to complete mention that subject and then graduate level if you have any masters or degree other degree you can submit them then employment record if you have you can submit them <coughs> then list of publications if you have you can submit them then academic record undergraduate you have to mention your cgpa and graduate level if you have you can submit them then me ac academic honors and prizes if you have summary of your master's thesis that you have completed then research plan that you have decided with the professor then second uh, research plan with the second professor you have chosen if you just choose one you can just submit one i read stoffel if you have you can submit them and uh, so you have if you have proof of this you can uh, exempt from the test scores here and if you have other proficiency tests then you can submit them so you can see and then type of financial scholarship you wish to apply you can see scholarship no repayment required name of the scholarship so you can mention ssp here and the duration of the receipt you have to mention then uh, current receipt you can see allowed or not allowed so you have to mention that type of financial assistance you can mention second if you are applying to other university you have to mention have you ever visited japan yes i know accordingly ever lived abroad so yes i know accordingly and what's your financial so return or join an education institution you can mention that then signature name and then you can preview this application so upper secondary name you have to mention So you have to mention this then graduate level your undergraduate degree you have to mention it here
So once you complete all the sections, you can preview the application form here. <coughs> so this one is important. So let's submit a photograph. So I have uploaded a photograph here. Let's preview the application. So let's again click on preview. So our pre application is now ready. You can see we can click on send. You can see we have received a pre application. A confirmation will be sent your email address shortly. And uh, by the end of this, you have to prepare these documentations so that at the final submission, you have to submit the required documents here. So that's it for today. If you have any confusion in choosing the supervisor, contacting the su supervisor, deciding your topic, so you can contact our support at full scholarships45 at gmail.com or on Instagram page, or drop comment down below the video. Our team will assist you there, they will answer you, they will reply you. And likewise, uh, you can visit our website fullscholarships.net and uh, apply for other scores that are published here. That's it for today. I'm signing off. Have a nice day ahead.